Mm -hmm. Hi, everybody. My name is Gloria Daisa, and my research title is The Role of Technologies in Shaping Communication and Decision Making in Unafi and the Kenyan Hospitals. So, since the 20th century, we have seen how the use of medical technologies has, has helped to improve the quality of care, but also the outcome of patients. And this is also the case for newborn babies uh, who are born and they need these technologies. And I'm particularly focusing on two technologies. So the first one is the CPAP machine, which is helping babies who are sick to breathe, but also a phototherapy light, which is helping to clear bad chemicals from the blood of the babies who are sick. And these two technologies are available in Kenya and uh, are being used in some of the hospitals. And But we have to understand the environment where these technologies are being uh, introduced. So it's not simple, like there's so many processes that could actually affect how the technologies are being used. There are different actors like nurses, with different qual or doctors, different qualities, different quantities, but also um, other technologies or medicine that um, health workers may need to use. And uh, with all these dynamics, I'm particularly interested in decision making and communication. Firstly, because it's a very important part of their day-to-day -day work, but secondly, because it can help to improve the quality of care. So I want to know with the use of technologies, how is the decision making and communication? And uh, to understand this, I'm based in the context where these technologies are being implemented. I want to understand the experiences. How are, what are their thoughts and also what are their practices? So how do they think, who thinks, who does the work, when and why? And to do that, I'm um, using the methodologies of um, case study design. So uh, I have two hospitals where I'm based and I collect data there. And um, I collect using the um, land of participatory uh, observations. I use interviews, but I also review the documents which are available there. And at the end of the day, I hope to come up with two outcomes. The first outcome is to understand um, how is the use of um, technologies and how is that uh, influencing communication and decision making, but also to inform policies in terms of some of the good practices, some of the challenges, and also to understand how that can lead to sustainability and an acceptability of technologies in Kenya, but also other low resource settings. Thank you.